So this was my first spreadsheet when I was looking for my first job. And this is my spreadsheet on my job search now. One thing I've learned that is that the less information that you need to keep cooped up in your brain, the less stressed out you will be over time. And one thing that caused me a lot of stress in the past was keeping track of all of my job applications, my interviews, and all of my scheduling conflicts in my brain. So today I wanted to talk about how I track all of my job applications and rejections in one place. So to start, you know, what is the purpose of using a system like this? Why overcomplicate things? I know a lot of people are shaking their screen thinking like, why would you waste all your time doing this when you could just be doing other things? I think at its core, first of all, it's very important to keep historical tracking data of your job applications because they will be useful now and in the future. Trust me, if I didn't lose a lot of my old spreadsheets of when I had my first job search out of college, that would have been gold to look at right now. But it got deleted with my college email. Sad. If anything, keeping track of your job applications is a way of seeing how far you've come from where you were previously in your career. Another reason for using a system like this is that it helps you keep track of what is working and what is not. Like <clears throat> your resume, for example. My resumes went from terrible to now being pretty okay, I think. And probably the most important point of using a system like this is that you can keep track of which companies you've already applied to so that you don't apply to the same companies and roles again. Because trust me, first job search, 600 applications, guaranteed I accidentally applied to the same company twice. All this might be a little bit of time to set up and it might be a few seconds more every job application to do all this extra work, but trust me, it will pay dividends now and in the future. Okay, so let me explain the system, what it is, what it does, and how I set it up. Basically, at its core, my job search database has two views. The first view is a board view, which is kind of like a Kanban board if you've been in software development lifecycle processes before, where I can see the process of every application I have, what status is it in, and if I've gotten rejected or not. And the second half of this is a table view, which is basically a giant database of every single job application I have and a bunch of metadata associated with each row. This is the view I use to most easily at a glance see all of my applications to filter through them and to really enter in the data as quick as possible when I'm applying to jobs. You can see here in each cell, I keep track of the company, the company size, the position I applied for, whether I was rejected or moved on, when I applied to the job, and most importantly, the original job link to the job application. There are other small pieces of metadata that I might explain at a later time that are for internal use that I'm testing right now. But basically this easily allows me to see, okay, like how much work am I doing with job applications? When am I doing it? And what is going on with my status? So I wanted to move on to what this database actually helps me with on a day-to-day -day basis. But first, I'm struggling out here and I gotta take some time to pay some bills. I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, Notion. So it's very on brand for me to have Notion as a sponsor because for me, I've always been a massively disorganized person. I never had organizational skills in my entire life, but now almost everything I do in my life lives in Notion in a way that I can customize for myself. You know, my job applications, my lead code studying spreadsheet, my system design studying spreadsheets, all my notes about JavaScript, about React, about studying for front end interviews, everything lives in Notion. Even the stuff I do outside of work stuff, like planning for vacations or all of my YouTube content creation stuff, all of it lives in Notion in its own unique way. And the best part is that I can customize each individual view to suit my personal needs and tailor it to what I need for the specific situation I'm in. And I think the best part for me as a content creator is that I can take any of these templates and publish it to the web instantly and share it with the audience or anyone else that could find an organizational use for a template like I'm creating. Honestly, being so disorganized in my life and now getting to a state where I'm pretty happy with organization has really just relieved the stress of keeping track of everything I do across all kinds of different projects that I'm working on. And hopefully if you like organizing things, if you like customizing things, if you like tailoring things to your own personal needs, hopefully I've convinced you to try out Notion for yourself. If you can think it, you can make it happen with Notion. Try for free with my link down below. And now back to the rest of my topics. 
So what does my job search database actually help me with? You know, when you get an email from a recruiter asking to schedule an interview for a company, and then you have that moment where you're, when you're like, what company is this? What position did I apply for? And when did I apply for this? Well, that was the main problem of all of my previous job searches and something that I had to basically scramble through Google, scramble through the website, look through career pages and figure out, okay, what did I apply to? and what research do I need to do? Well, now I don't really need to worry about all that. When I get an interview from a specific company, all I need to do is go to that company in my database, open it, see, okay, which job application was this? What company size is it? What position it was? And immediately move this whole card into the in progress screen so that I know to focus on it. And it really just helps me get my bearings very quickly about what company this is and what to focus on in my studies. The second thing the system helps me with is to be able to filter out metadata of companies so that I can more easily see what and who I've applied to and what and who I've been rejected from. So you can see with this table right here, I can apply filters to it. If I wanna filter it by the big companies, by the small companies, by the startups, I can see exactly who I applied to quickly with this database. And what this helps me understand is like, okay, what type of companies respond quickest, what kind of companies reject me the fastest, and what can I do about that based off the data. And if you can imagine, when I'm done with my job search this time, I can extract all of this data out into a CSV document and make use of it in my own ways through data visualizations and stuff like that. You might have seen online, people have these Gantt charts basically that show how many applications they submitted, how many times they were rejected, how many interviews they had. You can make all of this with this data applied in this way. And probably the most important thing is that when I get a rejection email of any kind, I can basically take the email and immediately toss it into the rejected section of my board so that I don't have to worry about this whole thing anymore. And the final and probably the most important thing that a whole system like this has been useful for is to keep track of all your notes that you've written about every company. Okay, so why is this important? Coming from a super disorganized person. It's because in the past, when it came time to interviewing, I didn't really know where to write my notes. I would open up Google Docs, I would open up Apple Notes, I would write on pieces of paper about every specific company when I was on an interview or when I was gathering information, and I would just leave it wherever. And now this information is just completely gone forever and I have no idea which company was associated with. Trust me, I have hundreds of documents from previous job searches that are just random notes I wrote from interviews and I have no idea which it was. With this system and with this database, every single entry in the database is its own notes spreadsheet. And this is important because every single company that you do interviews with, you have to do deep, extensive research about their company specifically. I've made it easier for myself by creating a template with a bunch of different questions that I scroll through and try to answer for myself while I'm researching a company, just to go through a systematic list of questions that recruiters might ask me during a phone call. So to give a little bit of a rundown of my general process of how I study and prepare for these certain interviews, especially the recruiter and behavioral screens, First, I usually go to Crunchbase where I can look for a tagline about the company, which is basically a one line sentence about what this company really does, because it's easier for me to understand, okay, what company is this and what am I looking at from just looking at a single line and understanding, okay. And now when I scroll through their websites, I'll have much more context about what the company does rather than trying to figure it out on the fly. So if we take Figma as an example, basically what I would do is use that tagline and keep that tagline in mind. And then I would just scroll through their product and figure out, okay, what do they do and what could I possibly contribute to? I'll probably go here and add some notes and add it to basic examples about the company and stuff like that, write some more stuff in these sections here. And most specifically, I try to answer the question of why do you want to work here most in depth? Because what I've noticed is that for recruiter screens, the first question that they ask is, why do you want to work here? And what made you apply to this job? And you might be asking, okay, Kevin, why are you doing this all for recruiter screens? It's because I talked to one of my friends pretty recently who was in the job search market about the same amount of experience as me. And he said that the recruiter screens these days are much more in depth because these companies are really trying to filter out applications because they're just getting so many per job posting. So anyway, 
that's the general way that I keep notes about these companies. I have a template. I have a bunch of questions that I ask myself to answer for each company. I have a bunch of examples that I've written for myself that are generic to each case. And I keep track of every single note I write in this giant database so that in the future, when I need to reference it, it will all be here. If you're disorganized and you need some organization in your job search process, I'm going to link a free template down below for this database that I created just for anyone who's struggling with organization and finding a system to do things. And hopefully it will be useful in reducing stress from your life and your own job search. That's it for me today. And as always, thanks for watching.